Hey guys, welcome to the free assets for Unity for November 2020. Now, this is December when I'm recording this, but remember I have to be a month behind because the new assets won't be available until the sort of next month when I normally do it. So be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store, check out my community discord, and take a look at my Patreon if you want to support the channel. And all the links will be in the description for all my different stuff and for all the assets that are featured today. So number one is the Gardening Tools Pack 26 PBR objects, which contain 26 different objects in 1K resolution with three different shovels, pitchforks, rakes, brooms, axes, scythes, hammers, saws, pincers, sickles, and knives. The next one is the EU Net Network Solution. This is an easy network solution for multiplayer games across Unity that supports server clients, peer-to-peer -peer communication with TCP, UDP, and RUDP protocols is based on the .NET Standard 2.0 multi-work supported across Linux, Windows, Android, iOS, and more. You can save user items and points, store and manage cast points and gold points, have save results, and much, much more. The next one is the City Assets Volume 1 Free which is a selection of 3D models optimized for all different types of Unity and they have up to 2K textures with four different LODs on each which include a hydrant, a cone, a sign, a dumpster, barrels, papers and more. The next one is the Free Jad and Cop Spine 2D character animation and it requires a specific library but it allows you to have the Jad and the Cop with idols, walks, deaths and other specific features. The next one is the Zara Survival Engine. Specific survival features including sleeping, fatigue, diseases which include flu, food poisoning, venom poisoning, lots of things, different things for injuries, water spoiling, water disinfectant, inventories, crafting and so much in here which could be something to help you get your survival based system together. The next one is the 100 plus trees pack which includes low, medium, high, fluffy, ultra and roots with seven different levels of details of 20 trees in specifically different categories. The next one is the M16A1 rifle which is a PBR rifle with 4k textures with around 6,000 triangles set up and ready to go out of the box. The next one is the free platformer tile set and it's a bunch of free tile sets with 25 different props, 256 by 256 tile sets to create a specific ground, grassy, cool little 2D environment. The next one is the low poly medieval skeleton free pack which is a one character with Mixamo and Mechanim compatible animations. It's a single 256 by 256 texture with two different weapons from the medieval weapons pack, five environmental assets, five village assets and three different props with a demo scene with a character around 4,000 triangles. The next one is the low poly crash cars and this is a selection of seven crash cars, three burnt cars with the main textures of cars which are actually substance files and it's a low poly suitable for mobile games and other things with a very simplistic style. The next one is something called the Toon Fox and it's a simple 3D model with about three and a half thousand triangles with 2k textures across albedo, normal map and ambient occlusion. Comes with different sorts of animations for attack with a pause, a tail, falling, falling left, jumping, jumping in the air, sittings, lots of different idols, lots of different walking and different things within there. The next one is low poly wind and this allows you to do a simulation of wind on these low poly style assets built in all versions of Unity with a bunch of different low poly assets including three pines, two birches, one flower, rock, boulder and ground with one low poly vegetation style shader. And last but not and last but not least is the sci-fi inventory system, which is a mobile optimized inventory system specific for a shop which you can buy power-ups. You can have an automated an automated generated shop with a list of items and it allows it to manually adapt to power-ups in the shop in any given order. You can have user inventories that create slots, stacked items, and have power-ups to take them specifically on your mission. So be sure to check out all these fantastic assets on the Unity store for November 2020, but of course December as of recording now. Check out my great assets on the Unity store 
check out my community discord if you want to have a chat and be sure to take a look at my patreon if you want to support the channel and like i said i'll leave all the links in the description for everything that you've seen here today everything that you'll see for this particular month and all the different things i have mentioned so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers